Welcome to Exploring Time, Lesson 2. So now that you've learned um, different ways that you can write the date, we're going to switch to time, and we're going to start out simple with time, and then we'll get more complex and work our way up to uh, telling time in between two different times. Okay, but first of all, we're going to learn about the types of clocks and how to tell basic time. Okay, so um, first of all, there are two types of clocks. One is an analog clock, and it looks like this one right here, and the other is a digital clock, and that's the one that looks like an alarm clock or many of your watches. If you have a Fitbit or know somebody who does, that has uh, usually a digital time because it just says the numbers. Okay, so um, there are many blanks on this page, and I encourage you to, in pencil, fill out the blanks with what you think the answers are, and then follow along um, to find out the real answers, just in case you got some wrong. Okay, some of them are pretty tricky. Uh, I already fooled myself once. This is the second take of this video. All right, so um, the first thing that we need to look at is um, that an analog clock is a clock with numbers and hands. Um, so here it is. And so there are three hands on an analog clock. The three hands are the hour hand, the minute hand, and the second hand. Okay, each one calculates what you would think it is. The hour hand is the shortest one, and it calculates the hour, or tells you what the hour is. The minute hand is usually the longest hand, um, and it calculates or tells you what the minutes are. And then the second hand is usually slightly shorter than the minute hand, but also thinner or maybe a different color. And that tells you the seconds. Not all clocks have second hands though, but they all have minute and hour hands. Okay, so the clock face shows the numbers from something to something. So you'll notice that the clock face here, it shows the numbers from one all the way to 12. So we can put the number 1 and the number 12 here. Okay, next, um, it says there are blank hours in one day. So I think everybody knows this, but there are 24 hours in one day. Okay, now we know that part. But each day, how many times does the hand, the hour hand, move all the way around the clock? Now, you might think that it moves 24 times, but you'd be wrong if you said that. It actually only moves around the clock twice. Okay, so it goes around, it starts at 12, goes all the way around, and then once it reaches 12 again, that's lunchtime. That's noon, becomes the afternoon, and it goes around one more time. So we can write the word twice here. The hour hand moves around the clock twice. It takes blank hour for the hour hand to move from one number to the next. So how long does it take for this um, hand to go from 10 to 11? Well, it takes one hour. So put the number one right there. Okay, so next we're going to move on to minutes. So how many minutes are in one hour? You might know this, there are 60 minutes in one hour. There are also, we're not getting to this, but there's also 60 seconds in a minute. Okay, so there are 60 minutes in one hour. So this, in order to go all the way around, it, it has to take 60 times. Okay, um, and then so each hour, the minute hand moves blank around the clock. So how, how long does it take for this? Uh, or how many, yeah. Each hour, the minute moves how many times around the clock? Well, it moves around one time. So once the minute hand goes from uh, the 12 and then reaches the 12 again, once it reaches that second 12, then it turns to the, sec to the, to the next hour. So we need to put that it moves once around the clock in one hour. Okay, and something to note here, as the clock, or as the minute hand moves around the clock, the hour hand slowly gets closer to the next hour. Okay, so that's something that you're going to have to watch when you're looking at a clock, is um, if the minute hand is at the 11, the hour hand is going to look like it's almost at the next number, but it's slightly behind. So if the minute hand is um, in this area of the clock, then always, always assume that this hour hand is at, 
is is the hour that is behind it that it that is further away from it even okay so that's something that might trick you of what hour it is the minutes might not be so difficult okay now um, also so every time we have a, a one a two a three a four a five a six and so on for the hours every time you have one of those that's five minutes for the uh, minute hand so for it, to, for it to get from the 12 to the one that's five minutes for the minute hand to get to the two that's another five minutes so it's 60 minutes all the way around but that's a fast way of skip counting to see that this is 5 10 this would be 10 10 or you would say 10 after 10. okay now let's continue on the paper whoops um, so it takes blank minutes for the minute hand to move a quarter of the way around the clock. So what I just said, it sort of connects to it. So let's see how many. We've got it a quarter of the way. If you imagine a line here and a line here. So you cut the pizza into quarters, into fourths. Then this right here would be a quarter of the way. So let's see how many minutes that is. That is 5, 10, 15 minutes. It takes marker 15 minutes for the minute hand to move one quarter of the way around the clock now there are two ways to say this when it's 15 minutes after 11 o'clock which says on this clock that it's 15 minutes after 11 o'clock we can say that it is um, we can just write that the, sorry don't write that write the word 11 so that we know what we're saying 15 We can also say, we could say that it is quarter after, after is important here because sometimes we'll say two and that will mean something different. We'll get into that, but quarter after 11, we would say, oops, 11, let's spell that properly. Um, something that's not on the, on this paper is how to write it just in time. Um, and then just to write it would be this. We're just doing saying though. That's why we didn't write that. This is another way to write the time. These are ways to say the time and write the time. Okay, so that's, that's quarter after. That would be any number could go here instead of 11 that has to do with time. So it could be 2, 15, uh, 3, 15. In that case, it would be quarter after two, quarter after three. Um, it's just a way, it's a common way that people tell the time. Uh, next up, we've got um, halfway around the clock. So now the minute hand has moved to the six, and you'll notice that the hour hand is in between the 12 and the, or the 11 and the 12. It's right in the, in the middle of it because it's halfway to the next hour. Okay, so how many minutes is that? Well, we can skip count. We can go five and we go start at the, at the one when we're doing this type. Uh, so five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So it takes 30 minutes for the minute hand to move halfway around the clock. Okay, when it's 30 minutes past 11, we have two ways we can say it and it's very similar to this, but you can say um, that it is 11.30 or we could say that it is half past 11. Half past 11 we can say. Okay, we don't, we don't generally say that it's halfway to 12 because it this is the this is the more common way. Oh, sorry, we're supposed to write the actual word because it's doing what we are saying, not writing. Okay, and then we would also write this as eleven thirty, as you're probably familiar with. Okay, and the last uh, type of time that we're going to look at today is um, when the clock, when the minute hand is three quarters away around the clock. <clears throat> so here's a picture of it. Um, you'll notice that the uh, minute hand is at the nine. That's three quarters of the way around. And um, so you'll also notice that the hour hand is very close to the 12. It's in fact, it's closer to the 12 than it is to the 11, but it's still. 
but it is the hour hand is still closer um, or is still at 11 for the hour instead of 12 it has to be past the hour or right on it in order to become 12 okay so don't let this trick you even though it's way closer to 12 it's still the hour is still 11 okay so um I don't remember if I did this because my computer or my camera shut off but it takes 45 minutes for the minute hand to move uh, three quarters of the way around the clock We've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. There's 45 minutes right there. Okay? Um, so that's 45 minutes. It's three quarters of an hour. Now, when it is 45 minutes past 11, there are two ways that we can say it. We could say that it is 11, 40, 5, or... Now, since the hour hand is closer to the 12, we would tell the time by saying how much longer until it gets to that next hour. Okay, so instead of saying it is three quarters past 11, you wouldn't say that. People will look at you funny if you say that. You would say that it is quarter to 12. So when you have this um, other way of saying time, you can either say half past or quarter. Quarter after or quarter to. Okay, quarter to 12. And we would write this as 11.45. Okay, um, one other time that I didn't mention on here is that 12 o'clock has special names. Um, there's two special names. So if it's nighttime, 12 o'clock, we can also call midnight. And if it is daytime, 12 o'clock, we can call it noon. Those are the special names for 12 o'clock and 12 o'clock only. Now, if you flip to um, the back of your paper, we're going to learn a little short clip it about digital clocks because there's not much else to know about digital clocks. Um, you can still read them the same and say the same things that we set up there, um, but they, they just, they're very straightforward and they just tell you the time, so you're more likely to just read the numbers on it rather than the other ones where you can say quarter to or half past. Okay, so this type of clock has no hands. It only has numbers. That's how you tell the difference. That's how you know which one's digital and which one's analog. Okay? So, and then the only thing that this has that's special, other than numbers, is it has semicolons. So that's a dot and a dot. There's two dots on top of each other right there. And they always, always, always separate the hour and the minutes. Always. Okay? It gets confusing if you don't do this. All right. Let's do some practice times. All right. So we've got, um, here we've got three analog clocks. And it says write the time in different ways in two different ways, in fact. So the first one we've got here, we'll do this one together, you do these ones by yourself and then with me after. Um, we need to look at the time and the hour and the minute. So the minute looks like it's at 15, the hour looks like it's at slightly past three, meaning that the hour is three. So one way to write this would be 315. Another way to, to uh, write this would be you could write um, quarter, no, quarter, <laughs> woo, had a little brain troubles there, quarter past three. And I'll let you write the number there because it's not asking you how you say it, just how you can write it. Okay, so we've got 315 and we've got quarter past three. You try this one and this one, and then, um, well, pause the video before that, and then play it again once you're finished. Okay, so you should have the answers on these clocks. And um, so this one is six o'clock. That's the time. The little, the little hand is the hour hand. It's at the six, pointing right at it. The minute hand's right, pointing right at the 12. So one way to write this would be six o'clock. Now you probably got stuck on this, maybe, but the other way to write this would be six and then write o'clock like this. That's the other way to say, to write it, okay? Because it's asking you to, to write it in two different ways. Um, and the last one, the, the minute hand looks like it's at the 45. That means that I need to not be tricked by my hour hand. It's closer to the eight, but it's not quite there. So that means my hour is seven. We've got 7.45 here. Okay, 
And uh, another way to write this would be quarter to eight, telling us the time that it almost is. So these are ways, different ways to write the time. Um, next, we've got write the time in a different way. So we've been given the digital time, uh, the simple way to write time, the way that you're probably used to it. Um, so let's do A together and I'll let you try B and C on your own and then with me. So another way to write 830 would be half past 8. Half past 8 or 830, another way to say it. Okay. Um, you try B and C on your own and then pause or pause the video first, I guess, and then play it again once you're finished. Okay, so you should have this complete. Um, so we've got 245. So um, another way to write that would be quarter two, three. It's almost at three, not quite though. And then we've got 1015. Another way to write this would be Quarter after 10. After and two are important. If I switched those, it would mean a completely different time. So please make sure that you're using two properly and you're using after properly. Okay, um, there's not much more else to explain. Hopefully you understand how to, the basics of how to tell time now, especially on an analog clock. Um, you are going to practice again only on the BLM because we are short on time.